news from where you live. Good evening, I'm Gina Quattrochi. And I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us tonight. Police say Facebook posts can write a delicate line between free speech and being a credible threat. They say harassment is turning away from letters and phone calls to texts and social media posts. News 18's Kelly Roberts looks at how social media affects the caseload of officers and their investigations. Kelly. Well, good evening, Jeff and Gina. Currently, the U.S. Supreme Court is hearing a case of a Pennsylvania man who served time in prison after being convicted of posting threatening Facebook messages. Locally, a Pine Village man is facing intimidation charges for posting what police say is a threatening Facebook status. Police say social media is part of what they do every day, and it is only getting more popular. 20 years ago when I started my law enforcement career, Facebook was not even heard of. Lafayette Police Detective Mark Pinkard, West Lafayette Police Chief Jason Tomkowski, and Tippecanoe County Sheriff Sergeant Brian Lowe have more than 60 years of combined experience in law enforcement. Social media was not around when they started, but now it's part of everyday life. The, the harassments, instead of written letters and voice messages, now they become Facebook posts and Instagram pictures or messages through text messaging. All say they constantly get reports of questionable social media posts, but rarely are they sent to the detectives division. And that stuff's handled at the patrol level. Um, patrol officers will investigate those, usually I make some phone calls or, or a personal visit to say, please stop. When it comes to uh, a university town uh, or even our own uh, grade schools and high schools, a lot of those are school issues. But there are cases where a post is serious enough to be investigated. For example, Pine Village man Samuel Bradbury was arrested in Tippecanoe County after police say he posted a Facebook message threatening specific police officers and judges, as well as threatening to blow up the courthouse. In more serious cases, officers look for specifics to determine if the post goes beyond freedom of speech. Cases that we've investigated, when you start naming people by name, and then start uh, being specific on what you're going to do to them. And not only threats, but actual uh, targets. Pinkert said social media quickly grew to popularity and it is not going anywhere. I think we're still playing catch up and by the time we get one, one social media site kind of mastered, we're on to a new one. In the Indiana Criminal Code for Intimidation and Harassment, there are details about the crimes being committed over the internet and social media sites. For that statute, visit WLFI.com. Samuel Bradbury's trial begins this month. As for the U.S. Supreme Court's decision on the Facebook threat case, that's expected by the summer. Kelly Roberts, News 18.